Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates. Bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto. But I can promise everything will be overstood. Cardano has suffered a significant drop in its total staked volume since its March 2022 peak. The proof-of-stake blockchain has lost over 76% of its total value locked in the past eight months. The decline is alarming, given the decentralized crypto project's recent Vossil hard fork. The Cardano community welcomed the Vossil upgrade with high expectations. The hard fork was meant to upgrade the blockchain's performance and place it in a position to contend with other top DeFi projects. However, it seems that the update hasn't been able to deliver much bullishness for ADA holders, according to Defi Lama data, Cardano's total value locked, TVL, has been steadily decreasing since its peak in March. For the first time since January 2022, it has now fallen below $80 million. Cardano's TVL, in particular, was reported to be $76.66 million at the time of writing. This is a 76.49% decrease from the all-time high of $326 million set on March 24, 2022. This new figure has pushed the ADA staking value back to where it was in January 2022. Cardano is currently ranked 27th among all blockchains in terms of total locked value, TVL. It lags behind blockchains like Bitcoin, BTC. Algorand, ALGO, Polygon, Matic, Avalanche, AVAX, and Tron, TRX. Ethereum, ETH, which has now has a commanding lead with a market value of $32 billion. Now on to Bitcoin mining difficulties. The next Bitcoin mining difficulty update, which is expected on Monday, could be the biggest in over a year. Pool of miners' brains for example, believes it will be around 12.5%, while BitRaw believes it will be between 11.3% and 12.5% and Luxa believes it will be 12.6%. BTC.com has a more conservative estimate of slightly less than 9%. While the numbers are still subject to change, they all point to a significant increase in difficulty. According to the block research, Bitcoin's hash rate has increased by more than 11% in the last week, and is now close to 250 exahashes per second, EHS. There are several factors contributing to the expected increase in difficulty, said Kevin Jong, senior vice president at Foundry, which runs one of the largest Bitcoin mining pools. It's a combination of infrastructure coming online, which means more capacity is being built out, Heat waves dissipating, which means better uptime and less curtailment across mining facilities, and the deployment of more efficient latest generation mining equipment. Miners have been racing to scale operations in North America in the last year, following China's decision to ban the industry, but have been hampered by supply chain issues and power constraints, according to Ethan Vera, COO of Bitcoin infrastructure company Luxa Technologies which operates a mining pool. City Ventures' $6 million investment in crypto startups comes as a surprise. Major banking sector capital firm City Ventures co-led startup incubator Excel with a $6 million investment round in crypto asset management company Zoltz, Bloomberg reported. We are launching multiple fund products linked to digital assets including mutual funds and ETFs listed on several global exchanges. We are also leveraging our technology platform to partner with several asset management firms and staking infrastructure providers to jointly launch and manage mutual funds and ETFs, Zolt COO Supreet Kaur told The Block via Telegram. According to the company's Twitter account, the company began with the idea of wrapping digital assets into investment products suitable for institutional investors. According to Core, would-be institutional investors face numerous barriers in terms of tax treatment, 
technological burdens, legal and regulatory due custodians and credit layers, and more. Despite having the risk appetite to invest in crypto, Core said, many institutional investors face millions of dollars in budget and headcount approvals just to get started, said Core. Ripple Labs is protesting the Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC decision to bar third-party evidence in the SEC lawsuit against them. The SEC mischaracterizes both the briefs and the law when it claims that the proffered amicus briefs of Iremit and Tapjets constitute improper attempts by movements to offer evidence outside the constraints of discovery restrictions, the rules of evidence, and this court's prior order, wrote Ripple in a letter to Judge Torres. Iremit and Tapjets are independent third parties who are unrelated to this lawsuit. They want to file briefs to tell the court whether industry participants invested in XRP, whether they expected profits from defendants' efforts, and how the sex theory of this case works. If adopted by the court, would harm their businesses. They provide the court with information about their business operations and industries to back up their claims. Nothing is wrong with that. The SEC had no business suing them in the first place, according to Ripple, if they can't handle evaluating amicus briefs that attempt to refute their claims. The SEC has sought summary judgment based on what it incorrectly claims are undisputed facts that every XRP purchase is an investment, and that every XRP purchaser expects profits from Ripple's efforts. Nothing could be more pertinent than these two amicus briefs refuting, or at the very least disputing, both points. If the SEC is unable to assess the veracity of such claims, then they had no business filing the lawsuit in the first place. The SEC initially filed a lawsuit against Ripple in late 2020, alleging that the payments platform was selling XRP as an unregistered security. Musk's legal team filed a new motion to postpone a trial in the social media company's lawsuit against him for allegedly breaching a purchase agreement. Musk now claims that in order for a purchase to proceed, Twitter must drop its lawsuit. A trial on the matter is still scheduled for October 17, and text messages from Musk, Twitter executives, and other major figures in technology regarding the deal have been released. Musk now says he will see the transaction through, subject to debt financing, which was not included in the original agreement. Using the rationale that he expects to close the transaction at the originally agreed-upon price of $54.20 per share, he now claims that a trial is unnecessary. Twitter board members are still weighing their options, and they may try to stay in court until Musk can provide financing to close the deal, or they may oppose the new financial structure Musk wants to use to reach the price he offered. Shiba and Playside Studios' Hiba Eternity received extremely high download figures on its first day of release and even made it into the top 20 games on Apple's App Store, ranking 19th. Unfortunately, the exact number of downloads of the game on the App Store is unknown, but according to its Android counterpart, Google Play, Shiba Eternity was downloaded more than 10,000 times on its first day. Shiba Eternity is a card strategy game with mechanics similar to the global hit Hearthstone. Shiba Eternity is a free-to-download and play game with paid content in the form of packs and special items. According to the copyright data, the game has been in circulation since point 2020, implying that it has been in the Shiba Inu development team's plans since the project's inception. More importantly, the game may introduce a SHIB burning mechanism, which should shake things up a little. It is unknown how the burning will take place, but according to previous reports from Shiba Inu developers, the issue is on the agenda. Importantly, the game may introduce a SHIB burning mechanism, which should shake things up a little. It is unknown how the burning will take place, but according to previous reports from Shiba developers, the issue is on the agenda. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Remember the social media platforms will be up and running next week. 
with the last channel being deleted we must now start over. Don't forget we have a $50 giveaway for when we hit 200 subscribers and followers on all social platforms. We also raised the ante on the giveaway for 1000 subs on YouTube to $200 giveaway. Don't miss out all you have to do is like follow subscribe and tag as many people as you can. We will be watching who tags who, and keeping tabs on which one of those tags actually followed, or subscribed. I repeat this is not a random drawing anyone can compute the giveaways themselves. Thank you for your time if you've made it this far. Good day, good night, and goodbye.